Hello and welcome to the Scout Scientist YouTube channel. I've been quite quiet on here recently because I've been super busy with lots of different things. Something that I have done recently is pop over to our Manchester lab to film a lab tour. So that's what I'm going to show you in this episode. So if you're interested, then take a look at this. Hi everyone and welcome to the Northwest Genomic Laboratory Hub, otherwise known as the Northwest GLH. This is the Manchester lab and this is the genomic sample reception. So this is where samples are dropped off and delivered to the lab. So if you come with me, I'm going to show you where they go next. So this is the specimen reception room and I'm going to introduce you to Rebecca who's going to tell you what happens here. I'm Rebecca, I'm an AGT in the pre-analytical team and also work in sample reception. When the samples arrive they come in through the window over there are unpacked by our MLA team who will then put them in boxes and on this ramp here ready for AGTs to book them in on that side. Once the AGTs have booked them in, they go down these ramps here. So the samples will then come down to the GT scientists who sit on this side, who will triage the samples, route them for a disease code extraction. They will then go from here to the different teams, whether that be in pre-analytical, being put in that fridge to be routed to Liverpool as part of our sample transfers, or sent over to the cytogenetics team for culturing. Once the samples have been checked and triaged, if the test requires DNA extraction, then that's done here using this machine known as the Chemogen. And blood samples are loaded onto the machine and we are left with DNA samples at the end that can go on for further testing. Follow me and I'll show you where the DNA goes next. These are all the PCR machines or polymerase chain reaction and these are used to amplify up the DNA and make lots and lots of copies of the part of the DNA that we're interested in testing. After some further processing, samples can then come to the sequencing room where we can analyse the specific sequencing of DNA in further detail. After the sequencing is complete, the data is processed by our bioinformatics team. The data is then sent across to our scientists who sit in offices like this. So let's go and find out what they're up to. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nick, I'm a clinical scientist and um, I'm based in an office um, most of my time, almost all of my time. So as Holly said, uh, once the data is produced from the bioinformatics team, that gets sent to us, the clinical scientists, uh, and we then look for variations of what we, we, we would expect to be the normal sequence. And if we do identify some variations, then we try and see whether they could be the cause for a specific disease or not. Um, and we use different types of software, uh, such as you can see one piece of software we use on the screen here. Uh, and once we've done all our analysis, we then write up a report and we send that report to our colleagues. So it could be clinical geneticists or clinical oncologists or genetic counsellors, uh, now called genomic counsellors. Um, and uh, once that report is sent, they can then decide um, uh, by using some of these results what the best treatment might be for a patient or what the diagnosis might be and how they can um, talk to the family uh, about potential implications of that. 
As Nick said, um, we work very closely with our clinical colleagues and in Manchester, most of these are based down at the other end of this corridor here. So this has been a whistle-stop tour of the Manchester lab, um, but it's important to note that we do lots of other techniques and although we are the central hub for the North West, we work very closely with our Liverpool lab, which is where I'm based, and also with different labs across the North West.